Do you know which vegetables are worst for diabetics and why? It's a question that may surprise you. We're often told to eat our veggies, but not all are created equal, especially when it comes to managing diabetes. Some can cause blood sugar levels to spike, making it harder to control this chronic condition. From potatoes to pickled veggies, we'll embark on a journey to explore these culprits. So, brace yourselves, it's time we dive deeper and discover which vegetables those with diabetes should keep an eye on. First on our list are potatoes. Now, don't get me wrong, potatoes aren't the enemy. They're packed with vitamins like vitamin C and potassium, however they're also high in carbohydrates which can quickly raise blood sugar levels, making them a vegetable to eat sparingly for those managing diabetes. Next, we have corn. Like potatoes, corn is a starchy vegetable, and while it's a good source of fiber, its high carbohydrate content can spike your blood sugar. So, it's best to limit your intake or opt for less starchy veggies. Finally, let's talk about packaged vegetable juices. They might seem like a healthy choice but they're often loaded with added sugars and lack the fiber found in whole vegetables. This combination can result in a rapid increase in blood sugar levels. While these vegetables are nutritious, they can cause blood sugar spikes if not consumed in moderation. So the key here is balance, variety, and portion control. Stay tuned for more on this topic in the next segment. Moving on, we have celery, green peas, and broad beans. Now, these veggies might seem harmless, but let's delve deeper. Celery, for instance, is often praised for its low calorie content. However, it's also high in nitrates, which can lead to rising blood sugar levels when consumed in large amounts. Next up are green peas. They're small, they're green, they're packed with protein, but wait. These little fellows carry a surprising amount of carbohydrates, which can quickly add up and impact your blood sugar levels. Lastly, we have broad beans. These beans are a great source of fiber and protein, but they also come with a high glycemic index. This means that they can cause a rapid increase in your blood sugar levels after consumption. So while these vegetables are generally healthy, they can affect your blood sugar levels due to their surprisingly high sugar content. These are all vegetables that can sneak up on you with their sugar content. Last but not least we have yams and butternut squash. Now before you start panicking let's clarify something important. These veggies are not bad. In fact they're packed with beneficial nutrients and fiber. However for individuals monitoring their blood sugar levels, these vegetables may pose a challenge due to their high carbohydrate content. Yams, for instance, are a rich source of vitamins and minerals, but also contain a substantial amount of carbohydrates. This means they can cause a spike in blood sugar levels if consumed in large quantities. Similarly, butternut squash, while being a powerhouse of vitamins A and C, also carries a hefty carb count. So what's the takeaway here? Well, it's not about completely eliminating these vegetables from your diet. It's about understanding their impact and managing portions accordingly. Remember, moderation is key. Enjoy these veggies but be mindful of your serving sizes. It's all about balance and portion control when it comes to these vegetables. So to recap, the vegetables to watch out for are potatoes, pickled veggies, corn, packaged vegetable juice, celery, green peas, broad beans, yams, and butternut squash. These are potentially harmful due to their high glycemic index or high sodium content, which can spike blood sugar levels or increase blood pressure. It's all about balance and making informed choices. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. Stay healthy and informed.